Well, did you ever see like a new product that comes out or a new idea and you look at that and you say, gosh, why didn't I think of that? It's so simple, it's so easy. <laughs> and it looks like so much fun. You know, and I could have done that. And you can. See, and, and that's what's neat. And I think most of us don't because we think, oh, the process of going and how am I going to get money? How am I going to do this? How am I going to, you know, find people to give me money for this thing when I do it? And see, that's changed. You know, and you watch this video and you see how this guy, you know, he was sort of like, a, I always played ping pong. And I like playing ping pong. And you know, like at your dinner table or whatever, and, and, and he would get this net and all this nonsense or whatever and try to put the net on the t dinner table so that he could play ping pong with his guests after dinner. And isn't that a great idea? Instead of having a big ping pong table to do it. But he couldn't find a good net. You know, all those nets you wrap around and it's all screwed up and everything. So he took pieces of cork, you know, really lightweight cork, cut in half, designed it so they don't tip over, and just takes these two pieces of corks and puts them on the table, gets ping pong better, and they play ping pong right after dinner. Man, what a terrific idea. So, he, and it's easy to do. He found a market $20,000. He put the idea on the website, yeah, on the internet and crowdfunding, and he got $20,000 to make that happen. Okay, so he worked on the design. We all like tinkering around and, and making something special for somebody else. And, and so this would be for the public. So taking your idea, not complicated, not a lot of technology and nonsense. No, just two, <laughs> it looks like two pieces of wood, but they're not, they're cork. Because there's a lot nicer and lighter and everything uh, mm -hmm. than wood for this stuff. See, you can do these kinds of things today. You don't have to sit and watch stupid TV at night anymore. You know, you can go down and work on your idea and think about it and try to make it better and take your rough drawings out to other people. Hey, what do you think of this? You know, or you could even go in a, a chat room and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this and, and get input and ideas. I mean, the world is sitting right here for all the help and, and it's free. People come in and free. People help you for free. You don't know, hey, what's the best material? You know, there's so much free help you could get for things like that. You join the local makers. I mean, you know these makers, you use Google makers and you see these organizations that are really free. They may charge you a monthly fee of $50 or something to be long or something. But these are all people like you that want to do things. And these things are growing all over because we new ideas are what it's all about. The old stuff doesn't work anymore. So your ideas are just as good as anybody else, but you gotta do something with them. The only difference between you <laughs> and this guy with the cork, <laughs> he did something about it. So watch him, but be inspired about how you're gonna take your idea and do something with it too, because even if you fail, <clears throat> big deal, that will lead to something even better that you should have thought in the first place, and it cost you almost nothing to try it. Well, Julian Bond, what a great name, <laughs> with CorkNet.com. But actually, Julian, you just finished a Kickstarter campaign, which has the neatest thing I think I've ever seen. You know, I'm studying Mandarin, so I'm, I'm really in the Chinese culture, and I've been studying with uh, some Chinese tutors here, and they're all you know, immigrants here, and I took them to play ping pong for the first time, and they whipped my butt, man, these old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> And now I can get your product in my kitchen and practice. See, that's what I have to do is practice my ping pong so I exactly. can keep up with my Chinese. But you invented this great product, right, that is actually a, a table protector and becomes a ping pong net on your kitchen table or actually any kind of table, right? Exactly. Yeah, no, that's the, the whole idea of getting it, getting it into everybody's house. You know, everybody has a table somewhere. So... Why not use it for more than one purpose? I mean, <laughs> clear the tables off and have a game hey, of that's ping pong. Right. And, and, and it's actually more of a conversation piece too. I mean, this is really cool because you put pots on it, you know, when you're not using it at it, uh, as a, a table, uh, as, as the the net, you know, for ping pong. Yeah. But more importantly, I remember all those nets, we used to have a ping pong table on the bottom, and it's all going to get curled up, and it'd take 20, 30 minutes to unravel the damn thing. And exactly. here you just have two little boards. You have a, a, a copy of one there? Or, it's, uh, it's just a simple, well, it's a solid yeah. piece of cork. 
Ah, so it's and very it's lightweight, like, and there's yeah, two of them, and you put them next to each other. Ah, I see. And that's how they become flat to use as a table protector. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's. I mean, it's. It could not be simpler. I mean, I've seen. I did research into different nets and stuff because I. I played table tennis on my own kitchen table and. Ah, you, a, you did it with a real net or you yeah, books or something? Or? Oh no, we used. Um, I went out and bought just a, a cheap set with the net and stuff, which I was see, not right. for a normal size table tennis table, which is huge compared to a normal <laughs> kitchen table. So you know you have to wrap it around, yeah, make a oh, mess, right, yeah. and it's all going everywhere. And and I I was looking around. Okay, I need to find something that's much easier and isn't a pain in the ass to put away yeah. and and everything. And I thought, okay, there is stuff here, but it's not. It doesn't look nice. It's just it's still a piece of sports equipment and. Right. Like putting a, a sneaker on the table or something. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, here you have a, a piece of, of dinner or kitchen paraphernalia or whatever that yeah. looks comfortable on any table. Exactly, yeah. That's the, that's the whole idea. I mean, cork is, I think, in everybody's kitchens already yeah. as, a, as a heat mat or, or something. Or to keep the wine table. inside the bottle or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's not, yeah, that's in everybody's kitchen for sure. <laughs> no, it's wonderful. And are you a, a, a ping pong aficionado? Is that why you did it? Or, or just a bored dad? And trying I'm, not to keep a, the I'm not a dad for sure. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, uh, no, it's just, a, I, I used to just play with my, my housemates and my friends when they came I around. See. I mean, it's just a really good fun to do. Yeah. Good thing. To do, um, yeah. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a, a champion table tennis player or anything like that. Uh, but I mean, I played at school when I was younger, and and every now and again, actually, I don't know where. I think I probably the last time I properly played before I I played a year ago was at school, which was oh, a long really? time ago. So. No, wow. <laughs> well, in China, my people, my friends from China, I mean, they started like third grade or something and they play all the time. And these ladies said that's the only sport they've ever played, you know, is ping pong. You know? And so they were delighted when I showed them ping pong. So now when I'm, I, I got to get one of these for home. So when they come over for dinner, man, I'm going to play with these Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to. And they're good, man. They just swack that that I can. But what's interesting about yours, because you don't tie it down like a net, <clears throat> that they're built in a way just to stay there, and you could whack the ball into this thing, and they don't budge, do they? No, not really. I mean, they wobble because they're not yeah. fixed to the table. They're gonna, they will move a tiny bit, but I mean, if you hit the net, you've lost the point anyway. So exactly. <laughs> if you were able to hit it so hard to knock them over, you've lost the point anyway. So right. you just reset it up and it's yeah but I'm so surprised how sturdy they are when you put them like that I mean these are sturdy things you know that uh and I guess that's from the design of course yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> any cheap designer wouldn't have figured that out but you didn't figure it. <laughs> so your background is really in design I mean you design what kind of stuff that you usually work on uh I've designed well I've I originally, I started off being an architect. Well, ah. I studied as an architect, so I've done a few architectural projects, small architectural products, and then I moved on to more product um, housewares, furniture, and things like that. So I do quite a mix, a mix of ah. things. Um, but I like getting my hands dirty, so really? like doing it all, right? Well, architects. Yeah. I always thought my life, you know, you're one of the few uh, people that really are uh, educated think about the long term you know everybody else here in business we're like, oh, yeah, we just worry about the next six months a year is a long time but you guys really have to think out way out in the future which is nice what's this building going to look like in you yeah. know, 30 years because it's going to be here yeah. well yeah i guess architects are supposed to think like that yeah. <laughs> yeah you get sucked up in our culture like everybody else you yeah. become a capitalist <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So, in other words, you you design all kinds of products in in your normal work, huh? Yeah. And this, yeah. so, how was your Kickstarter experience? I mean, so uh, why didn't you go and sell this to some company and say, "Hey, I got a new table tennis or or whammo or something like this," you know, as a toy, and 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 like you're doing it all yourself and 
you got a bunch of money already, you know, uh, almost 15,000 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it was, I mean, I design products and do, do stuff while well, trying to get other companies to buy them. And it's, it's hard work getting, you produce something, make a prototype and then start showing it to people. And it's something that you believe in and, and love and getting other people to, to trust you and, and think that it's going to work as well as is an uphill challenge. And obviously in the design industry, it's the big players call the shots really. Yeah. So, I mean, I thought Kickstarter is the perfect thing for this. It's, you know, I, well, not everybody has wanted one, but a lot of people have wanted <laughs> one and supported me. So, <laughs> yes. Well, you got hundreds and hundreds of people already. So you now know before you manufacture it, you have a market, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's the beauty of it. I mean, there's no no risk for me. Right. I could have put this up and it failed, and I just have to right. sulk for a few days and then then get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you did normally when you went out to the fat cats, right? You make this prototype and show them nobody loves you and you yeah. have to sulk for a few days and, and go home and start to think of something else. Well, here you could, you know, pole vault over these people, right? And yeah. go right to the market, see if there's anybody in this market really thinks it's as cool as you do. And now you got hundreds and hundreds of people saying that. And so, yeah, <laughs> and you go make this sucker in your business. And now you'll probably never design another thing again because you have to make <laughs> these things all your life. <laughs> well, uh, I hope that I, well, the bigger it gets, the better. And right. <laughs> when, it, when it does nice get problem. so big that I can hopefully, you know, get other people to, right. to do things for me. But yeah. <laughs> And then you could work on a, a new indoor soccer goal or something like that. <laughs> Maybe. I've not thought of the next project quite, quite yet, but I'm, quite yet. I'm sure there'll be something. Well, it's reasonable. And now you say the Kickstarter campaign is over, but on your website, you know, corknet.com, you could still get the same deal as the Kickstarter gets because if you wait any longer, man, another month or two, it may be just retail and you're going to have to pay for all these middlemen yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. So now is the best time if you like table and you're shipping to the United States, right? Yeah, so and I'll be shipping to, well, because. I've got already had so many buyers from the US oh, so really? shipping a huge amount to a a, a fulfillment company out in the US I is see. makes it affordable. I see. I hope. Wonderful. So we can yeah. get it. You know, you with the ball it. inside. I mean, you, that wonderful design because you're a designer, right? You made a, a place to put the ball inside so the ball doesn't get messed up. Show me how you did that. See, that's cool. Ah, so, right. So you each, go on top. Right. So each each piece has a a hole right, in it. A hole in it. <laughs> and then you just put the, just put there's the, another hole there. Ah, so your ball just, array uh, arrives in the US safe and sound, just like on exactly. the Mayflower, right? Nothing is gonna, <laughs> right. it's perfectly protected inside there, yeah. Well, wonderful, Julian, nice to talk to you and wonderful that you're, actually I, I was seeing that uh, in the UK is really developing so many entrepreneurs and, um, you know, now than ever before, it seems, you know, you're catching up to us. So we got to right. get hustling and, and steal from <laughs> you now. Right. <laughs> so that's courtnet.com. Yeah. Or, or .co.uk. I think it goes oh, to both. Oh, really? Okay. Or, or courtnet.co.uk. .co.uk or .com. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, Julian, thank you so much and good luck with your tennis. I'm going to come over and beat you after I get your <laughs> net here. I'm going to practice on this dining room table and whip your butt when I get to the UK. Take Sounds care. Sounds good. Cheers. Thanks <laughs> very much. Bye -bye.